Shalom, all praises glory and honors to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai, Bahasham, Racha, Hakodesh, and Dublin, as to the apostles and to the elders of Great Millstone, peace and salutations to the elect. I am a brother Makolat from the Great Millstone Jamaica camp with a lesson to feed the potential lecture spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai. From an article from nationalpost.com, and it reads the headline is Elon Musk Neuralink to begin implanting microchips in human brains in 2022. You see that? You see that? Now, my question is we are, we are the, the, the naysayers, man. Where is our, what's his name? Baloo. 14th Street is alive. Where is Nate? Where is my dog? Where are you, where are you cats that been laughing and scoffing at? The prophets started from the apostle, um, apostles of Great Millstone, all the way down. Where are you guys? Because you know, we have been speaking of these things for for so long. Remember when Nate came out and said, RFIDs for tracking capabilities, where's my dog? Well, you can see it now. Seeing, remember, DARPA did this already and got uh, the, 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 the cripple. Cracker basically to bypass his spinal cord and, and move his fingers. So I'm just gonna um, read a little something, something, and then last one I'll be putting the, the link in the description box. You know, and um, from there on, you know, yeah. <clears throat> you know, we can watch for more prophecies, you know. So you can read it for yourself and continue to go and seek out more information. It says, in a Wall Street Journal interview, controversial billionaire engineer Elon Musk announced that Neuralink is his brain interface technology company founded in 2016 hopes to start implanting microchips in human beings as early as next year. And, and, and you know, the El Pasatar been saying that, look, 2022 may be here, and, and I feel that way too, you know. It's kind of a little bit of calm, like it feel like a little bit of calm before the storm, because a whole other shit is happening, but it, it's kind of buried under the mat. It's buried under the rug, but things are happening, man. You know, a little bit of freedom that Jake has now. You know, to can go to party like in the season, so on and so forth. But shit's gonna be real out here very soon, because he's planning that next year he's starting to put that chip in the my in the in the in the. Um, <clears throat> Implanting chips in human beings. That's what he's. That's what he's uh, planning on doing. He says this chip is used to link neurons in the brain to any kind of computing device, <laughs> in order to record and stimulate cerebral activity, intended for quadru quadriplegics and suffer and sufferers of brain or spinal injuries. The chip would allow people to communicate their thoughts via computer and mobile devices. See, this man is trying to play the most high, man. You know, he's trying to obtain immortality through his technology, which is wickedness, in the merger of men with machines. They call it transhumanism, which it's not going to work. You know, I've been watching um, brothers, I've been watching, what's Rakhayakom? A couple of videos from Rakhaya Khan today and I can remember when one of them um, blesses the brother went and said um they can only go so far until prophecy says they can't go no more just paraphrasing well it's the same thing I'm saying it's the same thing we are saying you know because this 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 won't this won't work man you know he says the chip would allow people to communicate their thoughts via computers and mobile devices it says as users think about moving their arms or hands we would de decode those intentions which would be sent over bluetooth to the user's computer the website states users would initially learn to control via virtual mouse later as users get more practice on our adaptive decoding algorithms continue to improve we expect that users would be able to control multiple devices, including a keyboard or game controller. During a live stream interview at the Wall Street Journal CEO Council Summit, Moss said that 
said the chip is working well in monkeys. The company is doing extensive testing to confirm that it's very safe and reliable and that the device can be safely removed, which the, 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 the intention is not to put it in and remove it. Hell no. You know, it's about branding you. You know, branding you forever. It says in August of last year, Neuralink showcased a preliminary coin size device that was described as the latest prototype. It's like a Fitbit in your skull with tiny wires mustard of the chip during a demonstration on a pig in 2020 while he was previously suggested so like yeah, while he has previously suggested a time frame for neuralink implanting its chips in humans musk has a history of over promising and under delivering in 2019, he said Neuralink was projecting to be in human testing by 2020 and again in 2021. We hope to have this in our first humans, which will be people that have s severe spinal cord injuries like tetraphlegics, big words quadriplectic cripple people and shit you know next year pending fda approve he told the wsj right and and, and and see this is the mind this is the mind of these devils man you know this is what they have in store for you this this is this is their heart man this is their desire to 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 trap you people up especially you israelites trap your asses up man and, and get you to be subjected um <clears throat> to the will of satan you know so this is a uh, proverbs chapter 10 verse 1 it says why standest thou afar off O lord why hidest thou thyself in time of trouble the wicked in his pride that persecute the poor let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined and the thing is you know they know personally first and that this won't be easy to put that thing in uh in people in the majority's head just like that you know because first thing first what you have to understand is that they know that we are out there in the and the byways and we, we we bring it from a prophetic standpoint and we're telling people look you're not supposed to do that because it's against the scriptures man and they're gonna make it so difficult to survive in this society you know it's a trap it's a net basically that it's going to be presented to you people as salvation. It's going to be presented to you as, as, as the Christ, so to speak, as the anointed. Because this is supposed to be the, the solution for the problem that they're going to bring forth. You know, but you're not supposed to take it, man. It's, 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 a, it's a device that they have imagined. It says, for the wicked, verse 3, Psalms 10 verse 3 says, For the wicked boasted of his heart's desire, and blessed the covetous whom the Lord abhorred. The wicked through the pride of his count, countenance will not seek after Yahweh. Yahweh Hashem Yahshua is not in all his thoughts because this is against the Lord. You know, at no point in time the Heavenly Father had given any rights to anyone to be puncturing your flesh or any command or to be tagging anybody, you know, with an, impl imp an implant below the skin, you know, below the, the, the skull. You know, at no point in time, you know, this is their digital all that they want to give you to for you to be in perfect servitude unto them forever. Verse 5 His ways are always grievous, thy judgments are far above out of his sight. As far as enemies, he profited at them. He had said in his heart, I shall not be moved, for I shall never be in adversity. His mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud under his tongue. Is Father under his tongue is mischief and vanity. He sitteth in the lurking places of the villages, in the secret places that he murdered the innocent. His eyes are privileged set against the poor. He lied in wait secretly as a lion in his den. He lied in wait to catch the poor. He did catch the poor when he dried him into his net. And this system, you know, that they are bringing is a net. And they're going to use that web 
World Wide Web to control it. They call it the Internet of Things. And the, 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 the technology behind it is going to be the blockchain technology. We've been, we've been bringing out these things for years, man. There's no one with any excuse, man. It's go, and it goes back right back to Revelation 13, verse 15. As a matter of fact, let me start at verse 14. It says, And deceive them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by the sword and did live. So basically it's Rome all over again. But but it's a more technological Rome. There's this system that they are, they are bringing forth is to further, to, to, to trap you. No, they know, they, they, they knew how the monetary system in Rome failed. And they know that it wasn't sustainable. And they know that perfectly. But this is the thing. They did it purposefully. This time... To, to basically, to, to get it crumbled, to bring into this new age, this NWO, you know, this is by design to bring you people into this system so that um, um, through terror and fear, you'd want to stay within this system that they're going to bring. That's their plan, right? And, and this is deception, man, being the devil that they are. Verse 15, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, and remember, the image is not the picture or the, the depiction of the so called white Christ. That's not the image, man. The image is speaking about the system that they are bringing forth at this very moment. It says that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. So, in other words, if you're not going to go this way by receiving this mark, you know, then guess what? You know, you, you, you're a threat to society, you know. You're an enemy of the state. These things, all negative terms are going to be pushed out on you and they're going to use their media, so on and so forth, to basically spread this propaganda that, look, you're, you're wicked or you're evil. You're not, um, what's what I'm looking for? You're not following the guidelines of the state and, and shit like that, man. This is pure crap, pure madness, you know? It says, um, and he caused it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and born, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. No, Nate, this nigga said that this was speaking about an embargo. Uh, big nations, small nations. Bro, and these fools that, that still sit down in, in the IOIC that, you know, see these things coming on. And I wasn't even thinking about the IOIC, it's just a spirit. But... These things are coming to pass. And you still sit down there, what? Because you love the purple or you love the gold? Or you love the black? Oh, you love to be marching. Because it's all about to show for you. It's not about the word. It's about looking militant. But not following the scriptures. You know, to the T. You know, going out there teaching the laws. The laws, the laws. Like the law itself can save you. Yes, we're supposed to keep the laws. But through faith in Yahweh Shai. Because Yahweh Shai, he is our redeemer. So we're supposed to teach his gospel. It is written to the law and to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. But you can see the darkness in the IUIC when it comes to this. Ignorant men. Foolish men. And the IOPs know that the, 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 the MOTB is this that Elon Musk is saying that they are going to do. But they are deceiving the, 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 the simple which look it not well to their going, they're deceiving the simple. But the Heavenly Father is going to destroy all of you if you don't repent because the deceiver and the deceiver are His. You know? The Lord said the prophet being deceived, He is the one that deceived that prophet and He's going to destroy you and destroy all those that listen to that prophet. So you cats better wake up. I don't even give, I don't give a damn about Nain, man. That nigga is so puffed up with pride, he don't even want to hear anymore. But if the fire is touching him little by little, man, just a little by little. The judgment is coming, man. Are we going to see who was right? You know, sorry for the first strain, but, you know, sometimes the spirit is on you, you have to touch them points. Right? So back in Revelation 13, verse 16, and he caused it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond. To receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast. For it is the number of a man and his number is 603 score and 6. And we know what that word mark there mean. 
Karagma or Charagma, and an, an incision. And they're going to use a syringe to push that below your skin. And, and to put that thing, you know, they're going to do surgery and to put that thing on your brain. To tie you into the internet of things. And we've been saying this for years, man. For years we've been saying this. You know? We're going to see who was right. Because a lot of you niggas ain't right, man. A lot of you niggas ain't right. Oh, this has been an edifying one, Shalom.